Hi guys, Thomas here with Copy Trans Team. Now, has this ever happened to you? You connect your iOS device to add some music. Maybe you just got some Beyonce. Maybe some Metallica. Maybe even Justin Bieber. We here at Copy Trans don't judge. But there's a problem. Your computer can't find the device. This has happened to me. And so I'm here to show you how to get your PC to recognize your iOS device. First, unplug your iOS device from the computer and keep it unplugged for the full procedure. Next, close out of all applications. Your computer needs iOS drivers to recognize your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. When you install iTunes, you also install the drivers. But even if you already have iTunes installed, the drivers might be outdated or misconfigured. So it is recommended to fully uninstall iTunes using a free utility called CopyTrans Drivers Installer, which you can download using the link in the description. Once you have the program downloaded, open it and just click Uninstall. When the uninstall finishes, reboot your computer. Now you'll need to download and install iTunes from the Apple website. But if you prefer, you can install the iOS drivers without installing iTunes using the same tool, CopyTrans Drivers Installer. To install the drivers, open the program and click on Automatic Install. The program temporarily downloads the iTunes.exe file and then extracts and installs the drivers from there. After either running CopyTrans Drivers Installer or reinstalling iTunes, restart your computer once again. Now, connect the iOS device to the PC and it should be recognized. If you still can't see your device, make sure you have unlocked it by entering the PIN code and disabling auto lock. If none of that helps, try using a different USB cable, as that could also be the source of the problem, and it's recommended to use an Apple-approved USB cable, like the one that came with your iPhone. Further, don't use a USB hub. Connect directly to the PC, and if that doesn't work, try using different USB slots. For desktops, if the connectors on the front don't work, use the ones on the back. If there are still problems, you can try resetting the Apple mobile device service to automatic by following these instructions. First, Close iTunes and disconnect the device. Then, click on the Windows button. Now, search for services.msc. Click on Services from the results. A window will appear where you can see available services. Right-click on Apple Mobile Device Services and select Properties. If the service is already running, click on the stop button. Then click on the start button. Now in the pop-up menu from startup type, select automatic, then click OK. If none of that works, check that your iOS device is recognized by another computer. There could be a problem with the hardware of the device, such as a faulty USB connector. So I've been saying copy trans a lot in this video, and some of you may be curious about what that is. Well, copy trans is an application that lets you transfer music from your iOS device to your computer without iTunes. Copy trans manager is an application that lets you do the opposite. Add music from your PC to the iOS device, again, without iTunes. If you're curious to know more, click on the link in the description to go to the copy trans homepage. Check out our YouTube page for more helpful videos, and if there are any questions, leave them in comments. And like always, I'll see you in the next video.